combination pots are incredibly popular. And these days we have such a wide selection of plants to choose from. And a lot of times what looks great together doesn't necessarily have the same requirements in terms of how much water it takes, etc. Particularly the watering. Today I'm going to put together a combination pot for you that has a succulent with non-succulents. You may say, gosh, a succulent, you don't want to water it too much. Here's how you do it. Every pot has a hole, drainage hole, or if it doesn't, you've got problems. And uh, the classic thing is to take a busted piece of pot and place over that hole so the dirt doesn't come out. But another thing you can do if you don't want to trash a pot or don't have one is, you know those obnoxious styrofoam peanuts that we get when we buy stuff and it comes in, you like, it goes everywhere and it's a mess? Save it. This is what it's for. You just put that in. It'll block up the hole, won't go through, keep the dirt from going out, and it doesn't add to the weight of the pot. If you are, by the way, potting a great big container, put, you know, several inches of these at the bottom. It, it really works great. So that just stays there. The wind wants to blow it around right now, but I'll make sure it's in the right place. Now I just open this bag my trusty box cutter that lives with me always. You can see this dirt. It's very, you can see that it's rich. It's got a lot of compost in it, but it's got these hard little expanded slate. They're lightweight. This doesn't weigh a whole lot. They've been heated so they expand, but it really improves the drainage. And plants like succulents and all kinds of plants love this. Conifers love this stuff. So I'm just going to put some in the pot. Now, what I'm combining today are three things. This is the succulent. This is Echeveria. It looks like hen and chicks, and you can see it puts the little babies out. It also sends up one stalk of really nice, usually yellow or orange flowers, depending on the species. This is going to serve as my filler. And if you have, you know, read about making containers, the sort of the, the formula is spiller, filler, thriller. Thriller's the big thing, filler's the middle sized thing, and spiller, which is going to be this, goes over the edge. And it gives you interest in heights and different textures and shapes. This is going to be my spiller. This is Mecardonia gold dust that has this delightful sort of cascading habit. Sweet little yellow flowers all summer long. Loves sun, as do all these plants that I've got. So. One thing you do is, I don't know how to make a pot that has a full shade plant combined with a full sun plant and have that be successful. I can put succulents with non-succulents, but not shade with non-shade. And the thriller is Angelonia. This is a fabulous non-stop bloomer, has a very vertical habit as you can see. This particular one is called Lavender, and I am just going to stick him in like this. Now I will come back and fill in and tuck very carefully. You may be thinking, what about fertilizer in this pot? Well, anything in a pot, even if it's something that will grow in pretty crummy soil in nature, if it's in a pot, it has nowhere to go. So you've got to feed it. Um, and you feed it a lot more than you would feed it if it were in the ground. So even these would need it. Now, I don't use Osmocote, but a lot of people do and have great success. I have nothing against it, I just don't use it. But you could put mix Osmocote in with the soil um, as you were filling to keep it fed for months. What I would do myself is I would come back in a couple of weeks, water this in, let it sort of start to get established and what I'll do is in a couple of weeks I'll come back and sprinkle a little flower tone which is an organic granular fertilizer um, over the surface of this and water that in and that will keep it going you might I might do that several times over the course of the summer um, depending on how hot it is but because you water a container a lot even a container with succulents any kind of container is going to dry out fast uh, once again, much faster than the earth and the ground, so you, you do keep an eye on it. But you can see how sweet that looks. And one thing about containers is there's a thing called the bonsai effect. You say, but Angelonia, I've had it get huge in my garden. Yeah, but it won't in here. It'll stay sizable because 
root constriction downsizes plants. So whatever you put into a container will never outgrow the container. It just won't. That's the way nature works. So things tend to stay in a, in a nice shape. This will spread and fill. This will get wider like this, and this will fill out the back. I've put together a couple of other little combinations that are quite possible that I also like. This one's a kind of a hotter color. This is the succulent is this little sedum that's going to spill out over this edge of this pretty pot. And it's got sort of a cream that goes to this orange Gerber and this hot red salvia. This is salvia coccinia, by the way, hummingbird magnet plant. This Put this out on your patio and you will be visited. This is, once again, the thriller. This is the filler. This would be the spiller. And then you can do these little sort of interest pots where you break that formula. That code, that three-part code goes for a container that's big enough to hold three plants. But I really love this little combination. This would do in part shade. This little echeveria will take a little bit of shade, as will this lovely, beautiful little double begonia, wax begonia. This wax begonia will just get about like this, while the echeveria will stay low like this, and I love the contrast of these colors against this pot. And remember, the most critical thing is put them in the right dirt. This really fast draining, rich but fast draining soil will, that the, every plant in the pot will love, including the succulents. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.